Hi, everyone. My name is Mrs. Hauser, and this is St. Charles Borromeo Littlest Lambs Sunday Preschool. Today's circle is brought to you by this shape. You remember this from last week, a cross. To make a cross, we make a tall and down, hop to the side, and make a cross. This is our shape for the day. Okay, how about um, if we um, do our hello song? So I'll get my hands ready. Remember, sometimes I like to sing with my hands. And all my friends are here today. Time for circle. Okay, and we are still in the month of October. We've got a few fall things to do today. Um, so why, why don't we start out, first of all, by um, doing a warm-up song. So stand up, and I brought with me today, oh, here he is, here I am, um, I have Mr. Bones, okay? Here's Mr. Bones. It's a skeleton. You know, God made our bodies, and one of the things he put inside of our bodies is, is strong bones. So we're going to do, we're going to shake our bones today uh, to do a warm-up song. So, are you ready? We're going to start out by first shake all your bones. And we'll first we'll shake our head bones. So shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. How about your shoulder bones? Can you get your shoulder bones moving? There we go. Maybe your elbow bones. Let's get our elbows moving. Maybe your whole arm. Shake those whole, those, both those arms. Shake those bones. How about your finger bones? Shake them up. Can you open and close your finger bones? Good. Give them a good shake again. All right. How about if we shake our hip bones? They're down here. Put your hands on your hips and shake your hip bones. There we go. How about your leg bone? So let's take one, one leg and shake that whole leg. Okay, can you straighten it and bend it? Straighten and bend it. That is shaking your leg bone. How about your foot bones? Give your foot a good shake. Let's try the other leg. First, just straighten it and bend it. Straighten and bend it. I, you can't see my leg and I can't see yours, but we can straighten and bend together. And then shake your foot out. Good, shake those foot bones. And now let's shake all of our bones. Everybody shake your bones. All right, that was good. We didn't have music for that, but we can make, make our own music in our head. All right, so we are uh, ready to start our class. Um, and uh, before we start, we are going to say a little prayer. So last week you learned the sign of the cross. Get your hands ready. And we'll start in the name of the Father, and of the Son, touch your heart, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Just as I am, just as I was, just as I will be, God loves me, he does, amen. And we'll end with the sign of the cross again, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, that was our, our morning prayer, our start of the day prayer. All right, have a seat. And I wanna tell you a little bit about God. Last week we learned that, that God loves us. And one of the things, um, God made our whole world. And one of the beautiful and fun things that God did is he made seasons. Hmm. We just had summer. Summer is hot. What did you do during the summer? Hmm. Think about it. I bet you played outside a lot. Maybe you rode your bikes. Maybe you went down to the shore or up to the mountains. Maybe you have a pool in your backyard and you went swimming. There's so many fun things to do in the summer. But now we have a new season called fall. In fall, God made the trees turn beautiful colors. You can see some of the colors on this tree. And if you look outside, you'll see a lot of beautiful colors on the trees in your yard or in your neighborhood. 
Look for those beautiful colors. Then one of the things that's fun about fall, especially about its name, is that the leaves start to fall and they land on the ground. And there's a whole bunch of fun things that you can do in the fall. I have a story that I'll read later and it has some of the fun things that we can do. God loves us so much to make our world so colorful and fun. So I thought I have a couple of um, finger plays that we could do about fall. And one of them goes like this. So you can uh, do this with me. Put your leaves on your tree. We can make a tree, all right? And make, them, make the leaves fall. Leaves are falling to the ground. And now we'll talk about their colors. Can you make a Y hand for yellow? Squeeze an orange, orange. Cross your fingers and put them near your lips, red. They patter softly like the rain. You wiggle your fingers and tap them on the table. Patter softly like the rain. One landed on my head. Can you make that sound with your mouth? There we go. Let's try that one again. Let's get our hands up in our tree. Leaves are falling to the ground. Yellow, orange, red. They patter softly like the rain. One landed on my head. There we go. Pretty good. Well, I've got another finger play. Some of you might even remember this from last year. This is one of my favorites. Because it's almost Halloween, I sometimes like to go boo and scare somebody. So this one, we're just going to get down. If you sit on the, uh, in your chair or on the floor, cross your legs, and we'll pretend we're getting inside a pumpkin. So everybody get down inside your pumpkin. And this is how it goes. Apples, peaches, pumpkins too. If you hear me, just say boo. Let's do that one again. Maybe you can scare somebody at home. Get down inside your pumpkin. Apples, peaches, pumpkins too. If you hear me, just say boo. That was fun. Good. I hope you remember that one. And well, maybe we can even do it again another time. I have another finger play about pumpkins, five little pumpkins. In fact, I put five little pumpkins right here. I've got one, two, three, four, five. And this is the story, this is how it goes. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, isn't Halloween fun? And the fifth one said, let's run and run and run. So, Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights and five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. I like that one. Sometimes in the classroom, we even get surprised and the lights go out. Go figure. I don't know how that happens. Let's do that one again. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, Oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, isn't Halloween fun? And the fifth one said, let's run and run and run. So, ooh, went the wind and out went the lights and five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Good work on that. I hope again you remember that one. Well, 
as long as we're talking about some pumpkins, I have a game that we can all play, even though I'm here and you are in your house. We can still do this together. And I happen to have one, two, three, four, five little pumpkins. And we're gonna play the pumpkin patch game. And in this game, I'll pick a pumpkin, and on the back of the pumpkin, it tells me something that we can do together. So, if we were in the classroom, you know that it would be your turn to pick the pumpkin. Everybody gets a turn in Mrs. Hauser's class. So, there we go, I'm gonna pick one. Oh, and this one says, draw a circle on the board. Now, you don't have a chalkboard at your house, but you can still draw a circle. So get your pointer finger ready, and we're going to draw a circle. There we go. I'll do one on the board, just like the pumpkin says to do. All right, I'm gonna take my, I'll turn this a little bit, and give myself some room, and I can draw a circle. Start at the top, make a circle, well, you know it's October, so I can take the circle, which is also the letter O, and I can turn it into a pumpkin. So I'll put a little stem on top, and maybe I'll add an I. Oh, what shape is that? Do you know? Somebody said triangle? It's a triangle. I'll put another triangle I, and a triangle nose, and a pumpkin, needs a big smile. So I'll put a big smile and I'll give him a funny tooth and right there. So we turned our circle into a pumpkin. That was fun. All right, got, got some more pumpkins here. So here we go. All right, I'm gonna pick another one. I don't know, which one should I get? Maybe I'll take this one right here in front. This one says, everyone say, boo. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, boo. boo. Scared me. Okay, here we go. It's got three more pumpkins left. One, two, three. And all right, I'm going to take this one in front. Oh, this one says, we can do this all together. Clap your hands five times. Are you ready? Get your hands ready. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we did it. All right, two pumpkins left, one, two. All right, I'm going to take this one. And this one says, what color is the pumpkin? I bet you answered. Did you say orange? You are right. This pumpkin is orange. I've got one pumpkin left. Let's see what this one says. Oh, this is fun. This one says, everyone stand up, turn around, sit down. All right, are you ready? Stand up, turn around, Sit down. Hey, that was fun. I'm so glad we were able to do that together. I have a lot more of those games that we can do. All right, next thing. I have a story about our new season, fall. And this one is called, Let It Fall. What do you see on the book, on the cover? You see some children. What are they doing? They're jumping in the leaves. Oh, somebody said they see a dog right there. The dog's hiding in the leaves. That looks like a lot of fun. All right. Are your eyes ready looking at the book? Good. Are your ears listening? Good. That's it. And your mouth is quiet. You are ready to hear the book. Let it fall. Let it fall, it's autumn. Autumn is another name for our season. 
Look at the kids, look, and the dog, look what they're doing. I see all those leaves falling. Early mornings, crisp and cool. Meet new friends, go back to school. Some of you are going to school and some of you are doing your schoolwork at home, just like we're doing today. Mounds of color raked up high. Jump right in and watch the sky. Look at that. That's one of my favorite things to do is to rake leaves and jump into the pile of leaves. But then, chilly, windy, gusty breeze, rake, rake, rake the blowing leaves. If there's a lot of wind, oh my goodness, it's blowing the, the leaves, it's blowing the hats, it's blowing the dog's ears, and it's even blowing the children. Let it fall. Apple picking, mountain air. Our next stop, the county fair. Look at the family is going apple picking. Have you ever done that? It looks like a lot of fun and there's so many things you can make from apples. There's apple cider and apple donuts and apple pies. Yum. Oh, there's even some apple jelly over here. Hayride contests and jumping fun. The winning pumpkin weighs a ton. Do you have a pumpkin at your house? Is it little or is it big? If you go to a farm market, sometimes you can see really, really giant pumpkins. They're so heavy you can't even lift them up. Let it fall, hiking, camping, what a view. Trees of orange, sky of blue. Look how beautiful that is. If you go out in your backyard, you might see some beautiful colors. Or if you go to the park, or if you're driving in the car, look out the window and see what beautiful tree colors you'll find. Squirrels gather, foxes hide, black bears sleep, and sparrows fly. In the fall, a lot of the animals take a long, long sleep like bears and foxes and possums. And squirrels collect a lot of nuts. You might see some very busy squirrels in your yard. But soon, cold and frosty, tall bare trees, toes and fingers feel the freeze. It's gonna to start to get cold. You'll have to put on your jackets and hats and maybe even some mittens. Hats to knit, scarves to make, waiting for our first snowflake. I always look for the snow just around Thanksgiving. We might get one snowy day. The end. Let it fall. That's the name of the book we read today. Well, since we were talking about leaves, I thought maybe we'd do a project today with leaves. So I want to show you what I made. I made some beautiful fall leaves. I used a lot of colors on my paper. At home, you can use either white paper or maybe you'd even want to use a piece of yellow or orange or red fall colored paper and color on that. I kind of did a lot of crazy coloring with this. I used, some of the colors I used were uh, yellow and orange, red. I even put in some purple and some brown just to make it really fall colors. Um, that's what I see outside. So this is what it looked like when I started. I took my paper and I made some crazy coloring. Parents, um, if before your child uh, colors, like does some uh, crazy coloring on whatever paper they're using, um, I use the back of a uh, cutting board um, just to give some uh, texture and input. Um, when kids are coloring, it's, um, 
it's always good it's every once in a while to have something textured for them to color on. Um, it puts a lot of good input from the fingers all the way up into the brain. Um, it's a sensory uh, issue, you know, for their senses, uh, you know, to just, just give them that input. Um, it makes the fingers more alive and aware because um, eventually they'll be holding, again, writing utensils. And we want to get um, a good grip um, on a writing utensil and, um, you know, get, get that in a good position. So we want to strengthen their muscles and also get some good input to the brain. So that's what I did here. Then I went outside a couple days ago and I found some leaves and I put them in between some heavy books. So now they're nice and flat. These are leaves I found outside in my yard. Okay, but it's nice and flat because I put it in between a couple books. So then I took on the back of my paper that I colored, I took my leaf and I traced it. I don't know which one this is, but I traced the leaf on the back of the paper. Then I cut them out. So I have my beautiful leaves. And I even, on some construction paper, I cut out another one. You can hang these. Um, on your refrigerator. You could put your name on them and use them as little place cards at your table. You could even add a hole, punch a hole in the leaves and put some string on it and hang them from a, a coat hanger. And you have a beautiful mobile to hang in your house. When the wind blows, when the door opens, they'll wave in the wind and it'll almost look like they're falling for fall. So that is our project for this week. I hope you have fun with it. Well, we're at the end of our class and I'm so glad that you were able to join us today. So we'll end our class with a prayer. Get your hand ready. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful world that we live in, for the seasons, uh, the fun seasons where, that we can have fun each time a season comes. And Lord, help us to learn to take care of our world that you made for us because you love us. Thank you, God. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today at St. Charles Bar Mayo, Littlest Lambs Sunday Preschool. Till next time, goodbye and God bless. Bye-bye, everyone.